Okay, hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR and my YouTube channel. On my website, I'll have an article on setting up the Wing Key or USB with Digital Master 780, so be sure to have a look at that. I've got some screenshots and also some steps to take. So the first thing you want to do is open up Digital Master 780, and when selecting CW and Wing Key from the menu here, It'll bring up this window, and of course I know what my COM port is. Uh, my last article, I showed a little application on the K1EL website that will scan your ports and tell you which port your wing keyer is on, the wing keyer USB. So we're going to take a look at this in just a minute. Let's go to the options first and bring that up. If you're going to be decoding, of course you want to set up your sound card. And mine is already set up anyway, but you want uh, the USB audio codec, and this applies to the ICOM 7300, the ICOM 7610, I suppose other radios. So your sound card should be already set up that way. Let's take a look at Push to Talk, and Push to Talk, I'm using Ham Radio Deluxe. I don't want to have to come in and change things when I go from CW to something like PSK31. I don't want to have to come in here and make any changes. So let's go to the, the modes and the ID. And on the CW tab, I don't have push to talk selected up here. And then nothing else is selected down here. On a previous video, I was using a CW interface. It was a USB cable. And that worked great. It works fine. It's an inexpensive solution. This wing here, USB, was gifted to me by a friend. And I really want to start using this and enjoying it. The WinKeyer 3 supports RIDI FSK. And I don't know if it works in Digital Master 780, but it does work in FL Digi and it works in N1MM Logger. So uh, there will be another uh, video on uh, setting up the WinKeyer USB with RIDI FSK using FL Digi and probably N1MM Logger, so stay tuned to that. So that's it. That's all I had to change in there, or that's all I had to uh, update, because I'm not using that USB interface anymore. And like I said, when you select CW Win Key, it brings up this window, and I know what COM port it's on. So I can go ahead and select Connect. And it tells me up here the status. I'm connected. It tells me right here I'm connected. I've got some check marks here. The paddle echo back and the watchdog. And I swap paddles. Mine are, are reversed. That's just the way that I like it. And uh, the serial echo back. So uh, these are explained in uh, the help file and K1EL's website. But it basically will print out what I send with my paddle. Uh, and the paddle watchdog will protect me from uh, paddle getting stuck and sending characters. So that, that's something that probably should be enabled. Okay, let's take a look at the push to talk and side tone tab. And I don't have anything selected in here. Uh, you can uh, take a look at my website. I have some screen captures of the important tabs. The other ones you can play around with. And you can find help on www.k1el.com. So uh, that about does it for the Wink here. It's been working great. I love it. And it works with Ham Radio Deluxe, FL Digi, and N1MM Logger. Also works with a bunch of other programs. I haven't even tried it on my Macintosh. So I'll have to set it up and see what it does on that. Uh, next up, I'll do uh, WinKeyer USB and Ready FSK. That'll probably be with FL Digi. So uh, look forward to that. Please subscribe below. Also, tell your friends. And if you found this informative and useful, click on that like button below. Thanks for watching. 73 and good DX.